This is Lewis Hart for Boxing Social in association with Empire Firestore and Forged Irish Stout. Delighted to be joined with Natasha Jonas defending the IBF World to Eight World Title against Michaela Meyer in Liverpool. A massive, massive night for yourself. Um, being the sort of main stage, how are you feeling going to this one? Same as they do for every fight. You know, you have them. You have them like. Everyone thinks nerves are a bad thing, but nerves are good as long as it doesn't turn to anxiety. Nerves are good, so I'm, I'm feeling motivated and feeling driven. And I actually messaged Joe yesterday or the day before. I said I've got that fire in my belly, and that's that's what you need. Is it important to have that fire in the belly? As you said, you know, when you're having fights that you know not necessarily mismatches, but you know your favourites in this fight, um, is it good to have fights where you know, not not an underdog, but people will necessarily you know could be. They, it's like people don't know. So I have this necessary that, you know, you're going to be in for a real fight. That's what really gets you motivated in the gym. Yeah, 100%. And I think that's what the fans appreciate when them, you know, sometimes you, you can look at cards and think that one's going to win, that one's going to win, that one's going to win, that one's going to win and go down the card and, and that's exactly what will happen. But, you know, there's there's some very good fights on the card. Obviously, we're top in the bill and, and you know, the, I think I'm a slight favourite. But again, the, the odds are very close because no one knows what's going to happen. And with it being in Liverpool as well, is there any excitement to sort of go back? First time in a while that you've been back. I know you've been in Manchester quite a lot of times, but the difference in this, is there a bit of an excitement there? You're going to have this home ground everyone out there for you? Yeah, 100%. Manchester's been good to me, it has. Uh, but there's no place like home. And obviously with Maya coming up in a lot of weight, um, previously fine at super featherweight, lightweight, how much do you feel like the size will play a factor for yourself? Well, she can, she can eat. Obviously, she's tall enough for it. Um, it was just a, a sense of a filling out and, be, and being comfortable, but I do think it takes a little bit of time to adapt. And you know, as, as a super featherweight, she was always used to being the bigger and the stronger one. But I don't think she 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 is the same at at, 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 at this weight. Do you see this as a, a legacy defining fight? Um, with it being as massive and a big name like Maya for yourself, do you see this as sort of you know, once this fight's done, you beat Maya, then you know that's the legacy cemented? No, there's still things I'd like to do, um, but we're both two pound for pound you know in the top 10 fighters uh, uh, and yeah we're fighting so you know they're the names she, she's I think she might be ahead of me in the pound for pound so I've got to take her off to move up and, and that's what I want to keep doing so let's get to that number one and you said this you know these pound for pound fights the fight to be involved in this how special is it to be involved in sort of a, a pound for pound fight as you say you know both are, both consider being the top 10 pound for pound like I said putting the legacies on the line in a sense yeah, no, that's 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 what we're in this game for. You can you can easily go and get people that you can knock down here, there, and everywhere. But that's that's not gonna in ten years time. No one's gonna look back and remember you for doing that. So you know these big fights are the ones that people will remember. And you look now from the start of your career till now. How much has the motivation changed for you that you look at being a role model and, and, and things like that? Has it changed a lot from when you started till now? No, I don't think they, they're like extra things that come that come with with fighting and with being on TV and all that. When you're an athlete, you're just focused on the results, and you know all them other things are great, but that's not what I think about. Um, I just you know conduct myself in a certain way that's true to myself in inside and outside of me. I'm saying Natasha, thank you for your time. Appreciate it, and all the best for January 20th. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers.